In this cell phone video, you can see a child on top of his classmate hitting him in the face. Behind the child's cries for help, you can hear a man say, Get him. That voice, the family believes, was the boy's teacher. Are you done yet? That's the teacher saying that to these children as he's beating up on this little boy. Are you done yet? It's shocking. The 31 page lawsuit details what the seven year old allegedly endured over the course of three months. One paragraph states he was struck, slapped, and hit in the head repeatedly. Two times the boy claims his teacher held him while students punched, hit, and kicked him. It appears that this was being used as a disciplinary technique in his classroom. Um, instead of beating a child senseless himself, you know, at least according to what we have, he was allowing another child to do it. Also named in the lawsuit, a substitute teacher who was assisting in the classroom. Court documents claim the sub may have witnessed some of the abuse and didn't report it. The substitute teacher, at least in recorded in the DCS documents, said, that's bad kids and that's what you do. And so rather than being trained as mandatory reporters, rather than stopping abuse happening in a classroom, um, we're, we're seeing people within this school district that has a responsible responsibility to train educators, to supervise educators, allowing them to basically run amok. The boy's mom claims she alerted both the principal and vice principal of George Washington Carver School number 87. She states she had parent teacher conferences with her son's teachers. All of them, she says, brushed off the claims or placed the blame back on her son. She says it was at one of those parent teacher conferences where she saw proof of her son's claims. And the teacher sh says he's going to show her a video of the classroom showing the classroom environment. As he's scrolling through his phone, he accidentally clicks on this video, thinking it's obviously, we assume, a different video. When she sees her, it's her child on the floor being hit, she tries to grab the phone from his hand, as we understand it. Um, and in doing so, the volume goes up. And that's where she hears, get him, you know, hit him. Um, and she realizes it's the teacher's voice. Whether the teacher could face criminal charges, the family's attorneys say it's up to the prosecutors. We are seeing in some of these cases that uh, charges aren't being filed for over a year. So just because charges haven't been filed yet does not mean they're not going to be filed. Uh, it could still happen. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.